What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to get the Dynamic Island on older iPhones on iOS 16 using Dynamic Cal. Apple's Dynamic Island is a software feature that's exclusive to the iPhone 14 Pro and it's not available on older devices. However, even though you can't see it, it's still there in iOS 16 for older phones. Before we can get it though, there are some requirements for enabling the Dynamic Island with Dynamic Cal. First of all, you have to have an iPhone on 16.0 through 16.1.2. Anything higher will not work right now. This is best experienced on a notch device, the iPhone 10 and up, but this should work on the iPhone 8 too, since the iPhone 8 runs on iOS 16. Next, we wanna sideload the app on our phone via Alt Store, and here's how to set Alt Store up. Obviously, you wanna go ahead and download Alt Server for your computer, and then once it's installed, go ahead and open it up. And if you're on Mac, open the Mail app and enable the Alt Server plugin. You can plug your phone into your computer, also, in Finder and on iTunes, make sure Show This iPhone When on Wi-Fi is checked. And then from there, you can go over to Alt Server and where it says Install Alt Store, you're just gonna press on your device, then obviously enter in your Apple ID username and password. It's gonna go through, you might get this message, just go ahead and press Continue and Alt Store will install on your device. If you're sideloading an app for the very first time, because we're on iOS 16, we now see this message indicating that developer mode is required. Alt Store requires developer mode to run, so we're going to turn developer mode on, go into settings, go under privacy and security, and then scroll all the way down until you see developer mode. Go ahead and tap on that and tap on the switch to turn it on. It's going to ask us to restart our device, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, and now the device will restart. And now you'll see it says turn on developer mode. Developer mode allows you to use features that are required for app development. When developer mode is turned on, your device security will be reduced. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It's gonna ask for our passcode. Then once we do that, we can successfully open Alt Store. And now we're gonna go ahead and open it. It's gonna ask us if we want notifications and if we wanna to connect to the network, just go ahead and press okay on both. Now we're gonna to have to sign in with our Apple ID. And then once you do that, go ahead and go to the link down below in the description and you can airdrop this file to yourself. That's what I did. And you could see it says open airdrop with Alt Store files. I'm gonna tap on Alt Store. And as long as you're connected to Alt Store and Alt Server on your computer, this should just go through and start signing the application. You also can just locally download the file and open it in Alt Store, whatever way works. But as you can see, here it is. It's now sideloaded on our device. We can go ahead and open it and now we're presented with two layout options, either iPhone 14 Pro or iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is an iPhone 13, so I'm gonna hit iPhone 14 Pro. If you have a Max iPhone, then I would select the Pro Max option. And now, right under the notch, there's the Dynamic Island. And because this is built in on iOS 16 and not some recreation, everything that you're normally able to do with the Dynamic Island, you can do using this method. That includes seeing screen recordings right from the Dynamic Island, volume and ringer switches, airdrop, face ID, maps, and the greatest thing about this, because it's built in iOS, it persists through a reboot, which is amazing. However, if you do want to disable the Dynamic Island, all you have to do is go back into the app and just hit the big disable button, and then it'll be like it never happened. Just like in the regular Dynamic Island, if I decide to play a song and then let's say, for example, I wanna set a timer, I can go ahead and have both of those things and I can toggle between both of them in the Dynamic Island, which is really, really nice. And yes, games themed around the Dynamic Island even work too. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Let me know what you think about this cool dynamic island trick down below in the comments. I hope this helped. Please like this video if you did enjoy it. And also go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on to never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.